Hello, Mrs. Singh. Hi. My name's Camilla Sun. I'm one of the paediatric registrars. Hey, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. I've been looking after Amandeep since he was admitted with a chest infection at this Very time. Much. Is he okay today? Yeah, I feel like he's, he's okay. okay. To... Okay. Um, I must explain to you, though, that unfortunately an error has been made regarding his treatment. Um, has anyone mentioned that to you already? No. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, so it's important that as doctors we're very open about any errors that are made and I need to explain to you everything that is being done to overcome that problem. So what, what do you mean by an error? Like someone's made a mistake? So unfortunately his last dose of antibiotics was delayed because the drug chart went missing. So I'm very sorry about well, that. When we came here, we were told that it's really important for him to have his antibiotics because he's he's got some really serious infection and uh, they were so serious about it that they, they had to get lines and immediately give him everything straight away. So isn't this really bad? It's not ideal. Um, certainly we usually give the antibiotics at regular intervals and now that we have found the drug chart, the nurses are giving him the next dose as we speak. Um, so he should get the correct doses from now onwards. Right, his infection get worse because you've missed it. So hopefully he has enough antibiotic in his system already to be treating the chest infection. And we know that he was very unwell when he came in, but we've given him antibiotics, we've been monitoring him clinically, so examining him. And also from the blood results, it suggests that he is getting better. Okay, but so you say that, how did this happen? So I don't know exactly what has happened, but it seems like the drug chart was placed in another set of notes and so it couldn't be found. And according to our procedures, the nurse is not allowed to give the drugs until they have the prescription there. So I think there have been lots of mistakes along the way that have contributed to this. Um, and it's really important that we make sure that doesn't happen again. At the moment, he's getting his medicines that he needs, though, and we know that he's stable. What do you mean by stable? So he doesn't seem to be getting any worse. His breathing seems okay, and I've been to see him um, just half an hour ago, and he, he seems to be getting much better than that. So he's okay. okay? So he's definitely getting better. Okay. But how are you... I don't understand if it just got misplaced. Like, how are you going to stop that from happening again? I know it's really worrying, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite worrying actually, because you bring your kids here and like, you trust that people are going to do the right thing and then someone's just been a bit stupid and careless. I mean, if the person who's done this, are they going to get, is there going to be a punishment for them? So, I think that, as I was saying, a lots of small errors have contributed to it and I don't think there's any one person to blame. There are hospital systems that make sure that things like this don't happen and if they, if they do, we put in place measures to improve the situation. So we'll look at every, everything that went wrong in this case in terms of not finding the drug chart, not letting a doctor know straight away when the drug chart was missing or not having a reminder to say that the, the medicines need to be given. So I think all of these things were a problem. What we will do now is I will submit a report of what has happened and it's discussed amongst all the managers and senior doctors, senior nurses, to see how we can improve the system and make sure that even if a drug chart goes missing, then the drugs are still given. Yeah, that's kind of a really long process, and we're here for like for however long we're here, and I don't see how that helps us whilst we're here to have faith that this won't happen again. Well, certainly I'll be feeding back to the team and to my consultant, and we'll have a discussion with the with the nursing staff and the doctors who are on whilst we're looking after Amandeep now to make sure that everything right now is is fine and it doesn't happen again for Amandeep. So I'm really sorry that all of this has happened, but. We also go through that procedure to make sure that it doesn't happen to Amandeep in the future or other children. 
I don't know, I, I just feel like I, I don't have faith there anymore if I'm really honest and I, I don't know, I just feel like, well, it, it just feels like a massive betrayal if I'm honest. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so what I can do is have a word with my consultant. Or could your consultant have, have a word with me? Yeah, absolutely. I'll ask him to come and speak to you. Um, the other thing that I can do is put you in touch with the PAL service. Um, it's a service who uh, you can make formal complaints to if you you know you feel strongly that Alan Deep's care has been compromised, and then they will look into it in detail. Um, I've got some leaflets here that I can give you. Yeah, that I think that's definitely something that we want to look at. That's like okay. a complaint service, right? Yeah, so they yeah, they definitely. give you advice and you can make a formal complaint via them. Okay. Okay, I guess that's what we can do with that. Okay. But I want to just reassure you that I'm in deep getting the correct antibiotics now and I've made sure that that's happening. Um, and he is getting better in himself. Okay. Do you understand what we've been yeah, talking I get it. to? And I get it. Okay. So what I'll do is give you the 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 Powell's leaflet, and I'll speak to my consultant, ask him to come and speak to you straight away. Does that sound all right? Uh, yeah, I would really like it if your consultant would come and speak to me. Okay. I'll do that now.